So there's this one type of comment that keeps popping up in response to my videos. It's the whole, oh, you manage rentals? Ah, you're still working, you're not retired. Or, oh, you make YouTube videos? You're still working? Nah, you're not retired. It's <laughs> like the retirement police, you know. <laughs> I mean, clearly, to these people out there, retirement strictly means no more working, no more need to make money. And for some, surprisingly, it's even age-bound. Apparently, to be retired, I gotta be 60 plus. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think this is just a silly argument over semantics, right? Because, well, you can call it whatever you like. We're happy living the way we live. We're not gonna change anything just because of YouTube comments, right? <laughs> But I also feel obliged to point out that for these people thinking retirement strictly means no more working, no more making money, they're actually really mistaken. It's a view that's kind of just detached from reality altogether. And the scarier thing is that if you stick to this belief, you may never retire. Look, I understand the origins of the idea that retirement equals no more work. I grew up in that era too. That era where you will work 40 plus years in this one steady job, retire at 65, and then, ta-da, grand exit with this golden watch. Gold watch. Ooh. And your pension, or in our Singaporean case, you know, CPF. And then off to the golf course you go. Now, historically, if you look at the context, this was formed in the so-called golden years of the post-World War II full employment, right? Now, these days, pretty obvious. Life, work, everything has dramatically changed since, not least cause of automation and digitalization. Jobs are no longer the stable thing it used to be. Instead, now it's highly volatile. I mean, look at what happened during the pandemic. And then now that the pandemic is over, it's the tech layoffs. And increasingly great news, with the advances in AI, jobs are disappearing altogether. <laughs> the middle class is disappearing, they say. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. So work these days already looks so different from what it used to be 30 years ago. So why on earth would anyone expect retirement to remain the same as before? I mean, the reality is that it doesn't. For one, it's gotten a lot more expensive. We're living so much longer these days. Medical care has also gotten increasingly expensive. Housing costs keep rising. It's too expensive! Rising inflation, insufficient wage growth. The amount of money the experts keep saying you'll need for a comfortable retirement keeps on rising. But let's just take a realistic number for the minimum recommended amount of savings for retirement in the US. Apparently, that would be about 555,000 US dollars or 10 times the US median income. But then another survey shows that on average, retirees have just slightly over $170,000 saved for retirement. Some retirees apparently just have nothing, zero. And even in Singapore, one of the wealthiest nations in the world, over 60% of pre-retired Singaporeans are saying they're not on track to retirement either. So then what do you think all these people across the world, both pre-retirement and already retired, are doing? So this is what they're doing. <laughs> this is just what pops right up if you do a quick Google on the internet, by the way. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, everyone's default guru on all things in the universe. <laughs> if you look at Wiki's page on retirement, in the US, as you age, you have six lifestyle choices. And out of the six, four involves some form of work, full-time or part-time. The reality seems to be that lots of retirees are out there side hustling or freelancing or setting up businesses or full-time jobbing it once more. But it's not all as depressing as it may seem to you. Apparently, a lot of people aren't planning on working after retirement just only because of financial need. It's actually because they want to, because it's good for them. It's apparently about healthy aging, the feeling of social integration and contribution, the whole seeing retirement not as the end, but as a new chapter of life thingy. 
which totally makes sense, right? Since we're all living longer and early retirement is getting more popular. So retirement isn't just that 5 to 12 year period anymore, but possibly 20 to 40 plus years. Obviously, most retirees aren't back to the full-time 9 to 5 unhappy daily grind. <laughs> There's so many varying degrees of work after retirement. There's like semi-retirement, you know, returning to work part-time. There's freelancing, consulting, what some people call opportunistic working. <laughs> Sometimes they just do stuff like volunteering or contributing in whatever ways they enjoy. <laughs> but looks like it's a norm that many retirees are out there working or making money or just getting this set routine in their retirement, feeling purposeful, engaged, and pretty happy. It's actually a lot about just evolving past that phase in life where your work is so tied up with paying the cost of you and your family's existence that many people stick with doing crappy jobs they really dislike just to survive. I think that insisting that retirement must be a perpetual holiday without any work or making money whatsoever, it's really just quite a naive thought. That cherished eternal holiday vision is not even a sustainable thing in reality. I mean, look at all the anecdotal evidence from all the people out there, you know, they're saying that that eternal vacation phase of retirement, it actually lasts just about one, two years on average, max, before one gets bored and depressed and that sense of loss and being lost sets right in. It's a whole cycle, apparently. You rest, you get bored, eventually you find new pursuits and engagement, money-making or not, <laughs> and then you get happy again until the end. <laughs> so that's the four phases of retirement. Um, so this guy explains it in this video. It makes total sense. If you like, you can check that out. But basically, moral of the story, at whatever age or stage of life, keeping busy, having purpose and engagement, a good routine, feeling included, feeling financially secure, it's healthy and it makes people happy. On the other hand, if you continue to insist retirement must mean no more work ever, because that's how you think you'll be happy until your end, even though the evidence points otherwise, then, you know, that trash amount of retirement savings is only ever going to keep shifting continually higher. And to hit it, you're probably going to end up working that extra many more years. It's already happening. Official retirement ages across the world keeps increasing. And say one day, happily, you actually manage to get there. You retire. You sigh happily, relax into your beach chair in that dream come true perpetual vacation scenario. And then one, two years later, bam! On schedule, it's lost its luster. And you're bored, lonely, lost, perhaps wondering where it all went, pear shaped. Then you piddle through some more years in lackluster bottom mode, and then you find yourself maybe aged 70 and yet run out of savings because you didn't work, right, in between. <laughs> and then you end up being one of those people out there googling how to find a job at 70, sadly, because you actually need to. That's gotta suck. So instead, here's my suggestion. <laughs> instead of clinging on to this outmoded idea of retirement, I think it's way more productive to spend your time figuring out what's possible now for you and your skill sets. You could spend time thinking of how you can possibly take control and redefine work and retirement in your life for yourself. Because if you don't, work and retirement is being redefined for you by society and government anyway, whether you like it or not. And then you're just going to be following along. You can think about how you can possibly decouple the work you do from the cost of your existence. And then maybe even better, you can think about whether you can find some way to decouple generating those existence costs from the direct input of your time. And I think this is all really important. If you don't want to be stuck on the grind until you're about like, I don't know, 120 years old. <laughs> because it's coming for all of us, that time in your life where you can't make the same money at your job as you could when you were younger, or heck, even get a decent paying job, whatever that may be, when you need one, because of like ageism and all those stuff. 
You know, most financial advice out there, they say that typically for any of us to retire comfortably, we need about 75-80% to 80 of our pre-retirement income to continue our current standard of living. So here's the situation back when I was still in the workforce myself, running that corporate hamster wheel. So I had a job. I was so darn busy just working so I could hang on to that job. It was my only source of money. So my entire existence was, you know, dependent on that salary. And I sure as heck was not thinking to myself about how I can redefine work for myself. Or if one day, if I stopped working, how I could still generate 80% of that salary every month so my existence wouldn't have to significantly alter. I mean, sure, you can do like what we did now, right? You know, downgrade your lifestyle, perhaps move overseas to a cheaper place, um, become much less high maintenance in retirement, so you don't need 80% of your pre-retirement income. But maybe you'll still need, what, 30 40%? And if right now your only income generation is through that job, that salary, you got no investments, no other skills, no side hustles, no nothing, when that job retires you at that mandatory age or due to some other circumstances, God forbid, then what are you going to do? I think that's the honest reality for most working adults out there still, especially more so if you actually got married and started popping out kids, you know. Time just evaporates very quickly at this stage of life already. So I think we all need this reminder, you know, to look up from our business, you know, to look at the bigger picture and try to control where we're all headed towards. If you're still watching this video at this point, then I hope this serves as that reminder for you. Anyway, if you're looking at your skill sets and maybe thinking about learning new ones, you may be interested in what today's video sponsor, Skillshare, has to offer. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning. If 2023 is the year you promised yourself you're finally going to explore new career or side hustle options or maybe work on your personal growth, Skillshare is a great place to start. For Vitaly and me, we enjoy being creative in our retirement. So we create a lot, right? We, we cook, <laughs> we do art, we do pottery, and we also make videos on YouTube. When we first started, Skillshare was where we learned so many basics like videography, storytelling, and many more. Till today, one of the best classes I ever sat through online anywhere is still that class by Sorel Amore. YouTube success, build an authentic channel that's worth the follow. So her advice about finding your niche, valuing authenticity over beauty, and creating meaningful messages and providing value to the audience, it just really leveled up the videos we were creating back then. It's always easy to take whatever you learn on Skillshare and apply it directly to your life pursuits, whatever those may be. I highly recommend checking out Skillshare using my link in the description below. The first 1,000 people will get one month of Skillshare absolutely free. You can try it out, learn something new, move a step closer to your 2023 goals. Ultimately, nobody really knows anything. So you need to create your own process, manage risk, and then stick to your plan through thick and thin, while also continuously learning from mistakes and improving. We all only live once, let's try to do it the best that we can. <laughs> By this point, I'm sure you've got a lot to say in response, whether you think what I've just said is all bollocks, <laughs> or if you two are looking for a better lifestyle design than this traditional retirement model, which I've always found so depressing. Well, you can leave me comments below and we can discuss. I hope you enjoyed this video as usual. Give a like so hopefully more people will see this <laughs> and subscribe if you want to keep up with more of this stuff. Thank you all again and let's chat again next Saturday. Cheerios!